I'm sure by now you've heard the news. Patrick Stewart is coming back to the Star Trek universe. This is actually really good news. For the past few years, I've been watching what I would call the big three circle the drain. These are, of course, Star Trek, Star Wars, and Doctor Who. Could this mean that one of these franchises may actually rise from the ashes of crap? I'm optimistic, to a certain degree anyway. Captain Picard and Captain Kirk are undeniably the two central figures in the Star Trek universe. But while Captain Kirk was recast in 2009, we have the original actor for this new series. I would argue that Stewart is one of the best actors of the past century and is by far the strongest actor in any Star Trek series. If you want to see just how powerful an actor this man is, I highly suggest you check out Logan. Stewart's performance in that film is unreal. Now, let's take a look at what Star Trek The Next Generation represented, as we now have three decades to put it in its proper context. The Next Generation was the most successful and best of all Trek series to date, at least in my opinion. It has also aged much better than any Trek series that came before or after it. While DS9 may be my personal favorite, I don't think it surpasses TNG in terms of quality and timelessness. The Next Generation is also an excellent example of how societal issues were dealt with in fiction in the late 80s and early 90s compared to now. Real societal issues are rarely addressed at all in modern fiction. What we actually have are agendas being pushed through the false guise of perceived societal issues. Well, yes, there may still be some legitimate issues addressed. They are a slim minority, and very few and far between. Part of the timelessness of TNG was its ability to take a pragmatic look at societal issues through the lens of science fiction and these were often articulated through Stewart's masterful oratory style. TNG would not beat you over the head with issues like all straight white men are the scum of the earth, for example. Rather, it would take a more balanced approach. Issues were debated, and both sides were considered. It was also great at demonstrating that the approach you wanted was not necessarily the best approach to take, or even possible in the first place. Stewart has said that this new series will show Picard at a very different stage in his life, two decades after the events of Nemesis, where he is a changed man. What we don't want to see is this character destroyed in the same way that Luke Skywalker was destroyed in The Last Jedi. And I do think this is legitimate fear. At the same time, however, I think that this won't be the case. It's clear that Stewart himself has a lot of control over where the story goes, unlike Mark Hamill. He was hesitant to come back, so I think what we'll see is his vision of the character. He says we are living in dark times, and this is true. Some people think the far left is the problem. Others think the far right is the problem. Well, you're both half right. They are both equally destructive to society. The problem is that the far left now has complete control of the narrative and, in some countries, complete control over society. What I hope is that this new series takes the same balanced approach that the next generation did. We keep hearing about the evils of the right, but very few, in the mainstream anyway, seem to examine how the left seems hell-bent on destroying the very foundation of Western society. There's also the question of whether or not this will be another SJW feminist disaster. I don't think so. While Stewart's own political leanings are definitely to the left, I don't think he'll let this alone dictate his course. He's definitely been critical of Donald Trump, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's a left-wing nut. Not everyone who dislikes Trump is a raving left-wing lunatic. Another thing that makes me hopeful is that Alex Kurtzman, at least on the surface, seems to be trying to steer Star Trek in a less divisive direction. For example, the trailer for the second season of Star Trek Discovery seems to be tonally quite different from season one. And, from the trailer anyway, it looks like the focus might be more on Captain Pike and less on that detestable Michael Burnham character. For me, I think this is the first time I've been genuinely excited about something in the Star Trek universe since the final season of DS9 19 years ago. I think, and I hope, that the franchise might finally start to move in the right direction again. Make it so. And, that's it for today. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching, and have a good day.